John Cena turning heel is about as rare as you can get to something happening on actual WWE TV. So as you can imagine, it's pretty rare to see in WWE games, but it has happened. And no, these didn't happen early in his career when he was a heel. This was about as prime babyface John Cena as you could get. So it's going to be pretty interesting looking back at these four times that John Cena turned heel in WWE games. Now the first three are actually from the same game, SmackDown vs Raw 2008 in the 24-7 mode. I'm not sure what it was with this game, but they really wanted to try out heel John Cena in this one. The first one happens in a storyline called Lone Ranger, and this is about Mick Foley returning to help your character against attacks from John Cena's group as you head towards a title match against Cena. You'll first see Foley save you backstage when Cena confronts you and has a little surprise attack waiting. Uh oh, this could be trouble. Get out of the way, pal. I don't have time for games. Those two are allies of the champ. Did he set this hey, up? Hey, it's Mick Foley. I don't need your help. You could have fooled me. Listen, there's strength in numbers, so why don't we get a big chief and little Indian thing going here? Which one am I? Well, I guess that remains to be seen, huh? It'd have to be crazy to trust a psycho like Foley. I'm not sure he's got a choice. After the attack, you'll get a voice message from Cena. You got punked out last week, and I didn't even have to lay a finger on you. And Mick Foley's the only guy who had the guts to help you. How far you think you can trust a head case like that guy anyway? And later on in the story, you'll accept Cena's challenge after having a brutal match just a few days ago, with him leaving this message after you accepted. I didn't think you'd be dumb enough to accept that challenge, but it ain't like you've been making a lot of smart choices lately. I saw your one night stand match, and I'll be surprised if you can even walk to the ring Monday night. After that match takes place, you'll see Cena and his group attack you once more, with you again getting the help from Mick Foley. For the love of the match is over! Maybe so, JR, but the fight to become number one contender in vintage sure is it. It's Mrs. Foley's baby boy, Mick Foley! Mick Foley is swinging for the fences! Foley's lost it! I wouldn't want to be anywhere near him either! He almost decapitated the guy he came to save! That looked more like Cactus Jack than Mick Foley! Foley's got so many folks in his head, he should start charging rent! After this, not much will really happen with Cena, as it moves towards more of a rivalry with Mick Foley. Moving on to the next storyline, this one is called Gladiator, and it's all about how Vince McMahon wants his WWE superstars to toughen up, and he works alongside a heel John Cena to get this message across the hard way. You'll first see Vince make an appearance in your locker room. Get out of my way! Something I can help you with, Vince? That's Mr. McMahon! And yeah, there is something you can do. Prove there's somebody on this brand who's not afraid to take things to the limit. I ask for gladiators, and all I get are gutless cowards. I want you to prove your loyalty to me with a sacrifice, a personal sacrifice. Make sure you get an eyeful, honey. I might be the last real man in this damn arena. After this, you'll be attacked by John Cena in the parking lot. What the heck is this? That looked like a steel pipe. My man told me you were on your way down here, so I prepared a little surprise for you. Mr. McMahon warned me that you might be coming after me. Looks like I beat you to the punch, pal. And talk about ruthless, he'll do whatever it takes to hold onto that championship. You'll eventually get to face Cena in a cage match, and before the match, he'll send you this message. Kid. You got no idea what you're in for in this steel cage match. There ain't gonna be enough left of you to carry out in a stretcher. So you might as well forget about coming for my championship. So after a few more weeks of this storyline, you'll have to earn your title shot against Cena by going up against two of his buddies in a ladder match. Win that and you get a shot at the title. Before the match, Cena will send this message. Well, it's been nice having you on Raw. But after my crew gets done with you this week, I don't think we're gonna be seeing much of you around here. You still got time to back out, but I bet you're too stupid to do that. So you win the match, but it's not over just yet. You'll see Cena and Vince make their way to the ring, and you'll see this scene of Vince wanting you to join John Cena's special club. Congratulations, number one contender, and that's quite an honor. And before I pass judgment, I've got another honor for you. Membership in a very special club. If you want to get anywhere in this business, 
You've got to do a little butt kissing. So get to it. He wants to see him kiss the champ's posterior. <laughs> My God, what a message. The number one contender has sent to Mr. McMahon. And Backlash is this Sunday. And to end the storyline, you'll lastly get this voice message before the pay-per-view match with Cena confirming that he told Vince about this whole toughening up the roster stuff. I gotta come clean about something before I end your career, kid. I'm the one who fed Mr. McMahon all the gladiator ideas. And I got one more. The two of us enter the arena and only one walks out. And I promise, it ain't gonna be you. And the last Cena heel turn storyline in SmackDown vs Raw 2008 is from a storyline called Battle of the Animals. In this storyline, Cena will team up with Umaga in a strange pairing that you thought you wouldn't have ever seen. Together, they'll try and take you, the champion, out as both are contenders for the WWE title. They'll first trick you into believing that they have taken Melina, all for it to be a setup to attack you. Oh my gosh! There's Melina! She's all tied up! But who would have done this? Hang on, I'll untie you. What's going on? Assault against the champion. I wanted to give you a present for the other night. I don't believe it. It was all a damn setup. Sure seems that way, JR. And then they team up once again to attack you in your locker room. Uh-oh, here comes Armando. You should think real hard before opening your big mouth, champ. What the hell? You say you want to make an impact? Wait, that's the other number one contender. I guess I beat you to the punch, champ. Well, that's one sick way to tenderize a piece of meat. Why FIFA Kalioi? Ah! Umaga said that he'll kick you and all your friends' asses next time. Oh yeah, he also said that you're ugly. Ha <laughs> ha! Not much more happens after this though, as it is one of the shorter storylines in this mode. And lastly, in SmackDown vs Raw 2007 season mode, there's a storyline called Keeping It Real. In this storyline, John Cena and Shawn Michaels try to become the contender for your WWE title. Things are all going normal until Cena is caught in the GM's office with your girlfriend. Hey Steph, you got a minute? I just heard that you're giving Cena a WWE title match next week on Raw. That's gotta be a joke, right? Sean, if you could get past your petty jealousy, you'd realize that having John Cena as the WWE Champion going into WrestleMania would be even better for Raw than having him as the challenger. Now, if you'll excuse me. Look, what on earth do I have to do to convince you that the Heartbreak Kid deserves that shot? Sean, we've been through this. John Cena is just about the perfect man. For Raw's future success, I mean. Why, Miss McMahon, I do believe you've got just a tiny little crush on John Cena. Don't be ridiculous. What's wrong with this stupid door? Is it locked? No, it, it's just stuck or something. Oh, uh, hey, hey, Steph. We, we were just, uh... I know what you were just. Do you think this is conduct becoming of a WWE champion? What? What are you talking about? You know what? Maybe you should get that title match next week, Sean. Whoa! Hold on a minute! You can leave now, John, and take your little toy with you. After this, Cena will cut a promo about how he should be the next contender, with Stephanie and Shawn Michaels thinking otherwise. Well, big surprise. Last week, the showstopper got his big chance and got stopped. So now it's time for whoever the hell makes the decisions around here to recognize that I'm the only superstar who deserves a title shot at WrestleMania. Cena, we've been through this already. You had your chance and you blew it. What? 
because I messed around with Tori Wilson? Is that what this is about? Man, I'd kick it to the curb in a second for a chance at the WWE title. Oh, really? Well, in that case... Before you two get all worked up out here, I just wanted to remind you that I've got a rematch clause in my contract, and I'm planning on exercising it later this month at WrestleMania! Come on, man. After getting your ass beat last week, you don't believe that Stephanie is stupid enough to put you in the main event at WrestleMania. Excuse me? I'll give you a number one contender match right here tonight against the WWE Champion. Wait a minute. And Shawn Michaels will be the guest referee. If you win, Cena, you're the number one contender. But if you lose, Shawn Michaels goes to WrestleMania for a rematch. A number one contender match tonight between John Cena, the champion, with Shawn Michaels as the special referee. So after losing the contender match, John Cena will snap and turn heel by attacking Shawn Michaels the next week. Good lord, what a match! I can't remember the last time I saw... My god! Did you see that? Cena just flattened the heartbreak kid with that steel chair! That's not what I saw, King. I saw Shawn Michaels take a proverbial bullet for the WWE Champion. HBK is out like a light! I think we're gonna need some medical attention out here. Shawn Michaels just sacrificed himself to save the WWE Champion from a vicious chair shot from John Cena. But at what cost? Cena isn't finished there though, and will then set his targets on you with a backstage attack. My God, John Cena just attacked the WWE Champion on his way to the ring. Cena said he was going back to his street roots. And this looks like Street Fighting 101. Come on, punk. Come get some. Get off of me. We need some help back here. It's a good thing for the champ Shelton Benjamin showed up, but I don't think he's in any shape to compete after that. Would you look at this? The champion is refusing assistance. I think he still intends to go out there and compete. There's a fine line between tough and stupid, JR. And I think the champ just crossed it. And to finish the storyline off, you'll be betrayed by your girlfriend. We've seen it attacking you once more, although this time you will have some help. Well, King, we've just seen a preview of the WrestleMania encounter between the champion and the challenger. And it looks like Raw's got one hell of a main event. Huh? What was that? Sorry, I got distracted by Tori Wilson. That champion is one lucky son of a... Oh, my God! Tori Wilson just turned on the champ! And that, that thug Cena drilled him with a WWE title. It's Shawn Michaels! It's Shawn Michaels! We haven't seen him since Cena entered HBK two weeks ago! Sweet chin music! Oh my gosh! HBK may not be able to compete, but he can still hit that high note all right. Despite all of Cena's worst efforts, the champ is still standing thanks to the heartbreak kid. But can he prevail this Sunday at WrestleMania? Can he retain the WWE title against a man who will stop at nothing to take it? And that's the four times that John Cena turned heel in WWE games. If you did enjoy this video, then make sure to like the video and subscribe with notifications turned on if you have not done so already. Thanks as always for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.